What's up, guys, and welcome to Frosty Nights. Now, if you guys don't know what this game is, we played this game on the channel close to five years ago, and it's actually made by the same developer of Boogeyman, which we played on the channel close to seven years ago. And I figure, you know what? Let's return to this game and even maybe return to Boogeyman and do a new playthrough on him all these years later. You guys love whenever I return to these older games, and I think this is going to be a very fun one. Now, here's the deal, okay? If you guys want to see me return to Boogeyman, like I said, it's been seven years almost since I've done my Boogeyman videos. Let me know. Show this video a ton of support, and we will do a, an entire series on this game and and we'll hop into Boogeyman right after and go from there. But yeah, I cannot believe how long it's been since I've originally played this game. Like this game, it's going on, I think, four to five years. And Boogeyman, seven years, man. And the channels, the videos are still up, by the way, if you guys want to watch them. But it's crazy. All right, so I think this is going to be fun, though. I really don't remember a single thing from this game. But it looks like we have new game. We have continue, nightmare night. Ooh. And then a mystery door. All right, let's go ahead and start with new game. Boy or girl. All right, we're going to be a boy. So let's go ahead and hop into the left door. And let's begin. Oh, just so you guys are aware, though. Pick up, interact. Okay. So you guys are aware, um, this game does have a big, like, dialogue thing at the start. Like, a big story. So, keep that in mind. Alright, so let's go ahead and approach this snowman and start building. Alright, so, E. Oh, no. Hello? Alright, this is gonna be... Oh, my God. Okay, there it goes. Thank goodness it automatically puts it on there. I thought this was gonna be very difficult to do. What is that? A, a bow tie, I think? Oh, oh, okay. That makes sense. It's the little, like, eyes and stuff for it. Uh, uh, there you go. A scarf. I thought that was, like, <laughs> I thought those were flippers for, like, underwater. I don't know what I thought I was building here. Well, oh, the hand's over here, and there's the hat. Okay. So, we're building the creature that's about to kill us. I don't like the idea of this, but okay. I mean, sure, we'll do it. Why not? I don't remember this at all. Okay, there's one arm, and there's your other arm, and then, of course, your top hat. We cannot forget that. Dude, guys, what was that That snowman movie that was, like, a horror movie? I, I don't know. It was, like, a, a scary snowman that would go around, like, killing people. I think his name, I think it was Jack Frost or something like that. I remember as a kid, I only saw the box art for that, and I was so scared of it. That's what this reminds me of, though. Ooh. Okay, so it's nighttime now. You guys know everything creepy happens at night. Clockwork Wolf. I don't know whatever happened to Barry, because he hasn't made a game in, I think, since 2017, 2018? So I'm wondering if he's, like, still working on stuff or what happened. It'd be really cool to see a remastered Boogeyman or something like that. Or Bo Boogeyman 3. Oh, man. So I think it ended at 2. Frosty Nights. Ooh, this is going to be so fun. Getting hunted by killer snowmen from all around. I remember they show up at, like, the window, I think, and a door. But I don't remember what kind of snowman or, like, you know, anything else about this game. So yeah, a little deer eating. Deer, you better protect me, okay? When you see that snowman move, I need you to tar charge right at it, okay? Yeah, see? He knows the idea. He's looking at it. He knows what to do. Ooh, an owl? Yeah. Hmm. It's kind of like... It reminds me of the owl from Ocarina of Time. I feel like he helps us or something, but... I don't remember. Man, this would have been a perfect... The perfect game to play in December. <laughs> But here we are in June. The perfect time. All right, so yeah, here's the storyline that's going to be pretty long, but let's go ahead and read the page first. Story time. I hid my story tapes around my room to stop my mom finding them. I'm not sleepy yet. I might find them and play them in my tape player. I won't have time to listen to them again. I have five tapes. Okay, sounds easy enough. So we got to find the tape then, right? I think so. Oh my God, it's so dark. Hold on, let me see. Can we turn up the brightness? I know for you guys... Is that don't stay up too late, okay? Oh my You've gosh. You've got your first day at school tomorrow. That and no listening to those horror stories anymore. You know they give you nightmares. That Sweet scared dreams. me. <laughs> Love you. She actually scared the bejesus out of me. Like she scared the crap out of me. I thought that was a demon. Yeah, I can't figure out how to turn up the brightness, so. Alright, good night, mom. Mwah. There's a kiss for you too. Wait, I think I see a, a flashlight over here. Oh yeah, we do. Can I take this? Ooh. Nice. Oh, there's the tape. And, oh my god, I thought those were shotgun shells. Those are batteries for something. Okay, how come I can't... Oh, there we go. I got it. All right, put it in the tape player. And let's listen to the story. All right, guys, story time. Get your popcorn, get your snacks. Frosty Nights. Chapter 1. Welcome, children, to a wonderful, magical, and yet grisly story that, that old St. Nicholas never wanted you to know. He's got a snowman voice. This story takes us back... A long, long time ago, when old Nicholas still had flecks of ginger in his beard. We'll just call him by what everyone today know him as, Santa. 
We will start from the very beginning, when Santa was still scouring the world for the perfect place to build his workshop. He found none better than the North Pole, where magic seeped readily from the Earth. So much magic was there that Santa learned to use the magic in ways he had never dreamt. His body no longer grew old. He could slow time around him to a near complete stop, and as long as he gathered enough magic, he knew he could travel the world in what to us was a single day. Even slowing time as he could, Santa quickly realized Dude, he's in the to make enough toys for <laughs> every Neo. child in the world would take him far too long. So Santa placed his hands into the snow and called to Mother Nature herself for help. Mother Nature was gentle as she was wild. She saw the kindness in Santa's heart and agreed to help by melding Santa's magic and Mother Nature's spirit into the snow itself. The first <laughs> of the alien. snowmen bubbled up the from star. the ground like liquid snow. Yet unmoving and lifeless, just as the snowman we know today, Mother Nature seemed to pause, before then placing a carrot for its nose. You see, everything that is alive requires a small part of life to begin with. The acorn for the oak tree, the egg for the red robin, and the love of a mother and father for humanity. The carrot twitched, and ever so slowly, eyes within the sphere of snow began to appear and opened for the first time. Santa slanted his head to the side in a curious thinking gaze as he took off his scarf and hat and placed it upon the snowman. Taking a step back, he looked again and smiled. The snowman smiled back. As Santa, the father, and Mother Nature as the mother, the snowman were all too happy to help Santa build his workshop and all the toys for every child in the world. There he is. Oh my god. Oh, huh, all right. So that's, oh, do I have to find all five tapes? Oh my gosh, okay. I, I remember the storyline being very long, but man, yeah, it is definitely gonna be a long story time here. All right, so, uh, hello? Whoa, 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 buddies, whoa! <laughs> What's going on with these tops of these boxes? What is happening? It's like pushing me around. What does it say? Hello? Oh, smile. Guys, can we get a smiley face in the comment section down below? Hello? It's sucking me in. What is happening? <laughs> Those boxes are evil. What is going on? It started pulling me in. Wait, was there another smiley face up there? I thought I saw another one. All right, let, let's find these tapes, dude. <laughs> I'm getting attacked by a set of boxes. Oh, I need a new battery for my flashlight. Give me this. I need a new one. How do I, how do I put it in? It won't even, how do I, I don't even know. I don't know what's happening. It won't let me. Okay, fine, 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 fine. No, no flashlight apparently. Oh, a hair dryer? Huh. Okay. I don't know if we actually have to find another book, but I mean, we might as well have a look around, right? What is this? Some tape? Yeah. Why do I have that in there? Ooh, it's in here. Uh, basketball. Oh, another tape. <gasps> we found it. Wait, am I holding it? Yeah, I am. Okay, there it is. Plop it on in, buddy. Let's give it a listen from up here on top of the rat. Mouse? Probably Chapter a mouse. Chapter 2. Okay. Many years had passed, and children throughout the world had Christmas within their hearts. Santa had delivered toys year a after battery. year to the children of the oh, world. Oh, I got one. And the world was a better place for it. However, there were children who were not happy with Santa's toys alone and demanded more and more. The parents of many of these children succumbed to their child's wishes and began to buy more and more as each year passed. Look at him out there. Each year, more and more trees were getting cut down. Toy factories could not keep up with the demand, and forests were not being replanted and regrown as Santa did with his magic. Mother Nature watched as the birds Squirrels, deer, bears, and countless more of her children were left homeless and died. Mother Nature once saw humanity as her children, but each year as the destruction for toys carried on, she became more and more furious. Santa understood Mother Nature's anger and tried to make amends by creating the naughty list. Any child who was undeserving would not receive Santa's toys, 
and the spare magic from making those toys would be given to the forests of the planet to help grow and recover. Mother Nature was happy for a time, until even this did not offset humanity's greed. Humans, now with great machines, powered from the fossils of her most ancient children, began to pollute the air, water, the earth. Forests vanished before her eyes, and entire species began to die. Mother Nature wept for many years, hoping humanity would hear her and stop the pain they were causing. Her cries were drowned out by the drills boring into the planet, the saws biting into the trees, and the roaring of flames in engines. The pain turned to anger, and the anger to fury. Santa was helpless as Mother Nature's suffering began to warp the minds of the snowmen. One by one, they stopped working on toys and slowly but surely faded into the distance as they left the workshop behind. Santa eventually found the elves high up in the mountains that were glad to be of help to Santa. However, our story is with the snowmen and not Santa. Oh, I gotta find another tape, dude! Where are they at? Okay, so... Uh... I mean, we don't have very much battery, so I gotta kind of conserve it. Wait, oh. I wonder if they can, like, spawn in areas that- Oh, they can! Okay, okay, okay. So that one- the other one will probably be in there, and then, like, in here. Okay, back up here we go. Chapter Story time. three. John had just gotten snowman. home from school. He quickly grew excited as he spotted the snowman outside his bedroom window. John's dad often made him surprises, and he quickly ran out to decorate the snowman. John used his favorite scarf and hat and found the shiniest rocks he could for the buttons. John was very proud of his decorations, and soon it was time for him to go to bed. Looking out the window, he smiled at the snowman as his eyes slowly began to close. John awoke with a chill in the air and snow on his bed. He opened his eyes to see the window was wide open. Confused and sleepy, he got up and closed the window. As he looked out, however, he noticed the snowman's hat was missing. It must have blown off in the wind, he thought. Upon getting back Go into bed, hat. he found the hat on top of his covers. He stopped and thought for a moment. His mom must have taken it off and put it there for him. After all, he no longer had a hat to wear for school tomorrow and it was very cold outside in the mornings. The next day, John returned again from school, and a second snowman was right next to the first. He couldn't believe it. His dad had built him a second. He went into the closet and found his box of old worn clothes, hats and scarves too tattered to wear, but sentimental enough to keep. John decorated the second, and again, smiled with pride, as it almost seemed like the snowman smiled back at him. A trick of the imagination. Yeah. And John thought how cool it would be if snowmen really were alive. I don't like listening to this while staring at this creepy snowman outside, dude. I'm not a fan. All right, so, oh, look, yeah, it spawns in right there in front of me. All right, so we have one more tape. We know it's going to be in here, though, but... All right, last two stories, I think. Chapter 4. The sound of snow filled wind blowing through the room. The screech of an open window hinge as it bangs to and fro. John opens his eyes once again, tiredly shuffling out of bed to close his window. John freezes as his hand reaches for the latch. Only one of the two snowmen are outside his window. Why has someone moved it? John hears a dripping sound coming from his closet. John may only be a child, but he's never been scared of the dark or monsters. He's too clever to believe in fairy tales. So why would monsters be any more real than those? He heads over to the closet, and with a gentle pull, begins to open the door. Don't do it! Don't do it! He's dead! Don't tell me- okay, that's the end of the tape, isn't it? Yep. All right, last tape. I think it's in here. 
Uh-huh. I knew it. Dude, the evil boxes. Watch out for those things. They'll get you. Those things are scarier than the snowman at the current moment. All right. The final tape. Here we go. I'm going to stare outside. Let's listen. I was going to open the closet. Five. John's vision begins to adjust into the darkness from staring at the bright moonlight outside. Nothing. His closet is empty besides a few boxes. The dripping sound continues, though, so he steps inside to try and listen to where it's coming from. As he does so, he hears a loud thud near his still open window. John pokes his head out of the closet, and there in front of the window is the snowman that only a minute ago was standing outside. The snowman is different, lifelike, with sharp, pointed teeth and a hungry grin curling more and more to the sides as it starts to move closer. John is frozen in fear. He doesn't understand. There is no logical explanation. Uh -oh. He slowly uh -oh. backs away further into the closet. He feels something wet on his head. Drip, happening. Drop, drip, drop. Is there something As on my John head? Looks no. Up, okay. The missing snowman is on the ceiling, holding itself up with where, big where branched is he? arms. Where is he? John sees the other snowman now in front of the closet, arms reaching. The closet door begins to close, and complete darkness envelops John. Rough knotted branch fingers wrap around John's head, and a gruesome snap and popping sound echoes through the room they got him. from that dark closet. John is never seen again. Oh. The house is put up for sale shortly after. However, with the disappearance of John well known throughout the town, a young boy who suddenly vanished without a trace from his bed one frosty night. The house remained unsold and empty for many years. Until this night, in fact. Which, my child, is where our story begins. So... Oh, whoa, 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 it's the alien, watch out! That's the thing. Um, oh, wait, did I just see? Oh, I thought I saw someone, I think it's that. All right, well, that was a creepy story. I would not be listening to that before going to bed, but hey, that's just me. Let's uh, go to bed, I guess. Are we are we good? Am I good, bro? Or am I gonna get attacked? What's going on with the tape? I don't know. Okay, that's all the tapes, right? So why isn't it? Let me go to the front door. Let me see. I thought I saw someone out there, but no. I wish I could turn on the light in here. That'd be great. I think he wants me to go inside the closet, maybe. Oh no, it's done. What's that? Who's writing? Who just wrote something? Uh, the strategy plan. The snowman is coming. I have to prepare. I need to find something to scare snowmen. Something to see in the dark. Something to bind both of us, both of them together. Trying to swap between them would be dangerous. I should bring everything to the table. Okay, I know this you definitely need. I remember you can like melt them or, or something with that thing. Um, what else do we have? This maybe? Some tape? You want some tape? Huh? I don't know. Oh, that's it. Okay, cool. I'm making a blow dryer weapon. <laughs> oh, dude, check this out. Wait, I'm wasting all my battery. This thing is sweet. Action plan. Before each night, I should search for useful things and put them where they will help. Best defensive position to start night on the bed. Okay, so uh, first thing we need, alien. No, okay, wow. Won't even let me pick them up. All right, we need these batteries, though, but it won't even let me grab them, so guess not. Is there anything in here that I might need? Do this giant green ball? No? Okay. It literally doesn't let me collect anything. What do you want me to have, game, if I can't collect it? Where is it? There's nothing here that I need. All right, let's just start the night, dude. I can't, can I at least grab the rabbit? Nothing. The ball, the ball, the ball, please. There we go. I got something. <laughs> I can at least throw this at him. Okay, never mind. It go oh, there goes the ball. All right, let's just start the night. That's fine. The ball just fell through the bed. Oh, boy. Dude, it's so dark in here. Oh, night one. Let's do this. All right, so I gotta watch the closet. I remember it said it said something about the ceiling, the window over there, the window over there, and probably under the bed if it's anything like Boogeyman. Let's do this. Now, it is only night one, so I think it's gonna start pretty slow, but... Oh, yeah, we gotta open up this... Wait, what? Oh, my God! Oh, my God! I didn't know it! Oh, no! How do I... Oh, you right-click, right-click. Okay, that is off to a very quick start. I did not know to grab a battery. You had to go over there like that. I almost died right, right at the beginning.
<laughs> Holy. I didn't think he would attack that fast. I'm thinking like FNAF 1, you know, where he like leaves you alone for a decent amount of time and then... What is that? What? Is... Oh, oh, it's snow. It's snow noises. Oh, he's here. He's here to protect us. Go ahead, ram him. Do it. Come on. You know what you're supposed to do. Come on. We trained you for this, buddy. Come on. Come on. I didn't train you for nothing. Ram him. Come on. We're going to die. <laughs> He's not doing it. Oh, great. We're going to die. Uh, I don't even know if that's a deer. I think that's a... Uh, uh, what do you call that thing? It's not a deer. It's um, uh, caribou. No, not a caribou. What's it, what is that thing called? A elk? I can't think of the name of it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't live in... I live in Florida, okay? I don't even know what this white stuff is around me, okay? I have no idea what this stuff is falling from the sky. I've never seen it before in my life. I'm just kidding. I, I've been to New York, but that's about it. Where, where is he? I heard a... Oh, the, the window opened. Okay, I was gonna say I heard a drawer or something. Okay, we're fine. What time is it? Uh, one something. That's fine. All right, we just gotta make it to 6 a.m. Be nice and easy. I don't know how to replace the batteries on this blow dryer. It didn't really tell me that, but I I'm assuming it's like the same thing as over there, right? I go over there, I grab it, put it in, and then I'm good to go. But, dude, he attacked so fast at the start, and now he's just leaving me alone. I don't know why he was so angry to begin with. That window is still closed and that door I'm sure he can show up at later. But I think right now it's going to be this closet and this window. But just in case, keep an eye on the back of me because you never know. This man fall asleep? Hello? I think I melted him for good. I don't think he's coming back. <laughs> All he needed was just one blow dryer attack and then he was just dead forever. The guy could have won easily in that story. He wouldn't have died if he just had a blow dryer. And used it properly. And yeah, there's nobody here. Alien? You good, bro? Okay, good. Just making sure. Rabbit? You good? Okay. Just making sure. Because this guy is not moving. Oh my god, it's almost 3 a.m., dude. We're going to win. Without even doing anything. I don't see him, so... I mean, I, he could be, like, in the dark. Oh, I think I just saw something out of that window, but... I think we're good. <laughs> this guy fell asleep. I wish he could, like, move around during the night. You know, just like walk around and uh, I guess that'd be kind of OP, but it would be nice to do. Oh my God. What? Is he on the ceiling? He is up there. Oh, he's opening the other window. Oh, look. You can see his hand. And he disappeared. That's kind of cool. Man, I don't remember any of this. Then again, you know, four or five years ago. I'm not going to remember this <laughs> and that, with it being that long. I think when I recorded this game... I think I was still living at my parents' house or at my apartment, maybe. But it was a long time ago. I remember the original Boogeyman. I recorded that at my parents' house, like, when they were home. So that's why all my earlier videos, I'm so quiet. Because my parents are, like, right outside the door. And I'm just, like, you know, awkward and, you know, nervous. But now, hey, look at that. I can be as loud as I want. Because I got my own place. All right. Can, can this snowman wake up, bro? Where is he? What are you doing over there? Get, get. Okay. Cool. He just opened that and then left. Great. I think whenever they open it, it makes it to where, like, you don't hear them come in. Wait, can I close that? Oh, my God. I can close it. Uh-huh. What you going to do about it? I didn't know you could do that. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So, if they leave it open, though, they can, like, sneak in and then you don't hear them. But if the door is closed, you'll hear it like a... Like we just heard. So we're already about to beat this night. And now it's starting to snow, so we won't be able to hear as well. I don't know if he can show up from underneath our bed. Oh, no. Lights are going out. Yeah, I think on, like, Nightmare Night, all the lights are probably out. And you can't see a thing. Because then you'd have to use your your flashlight. Which, right now, we don't have to use. Come on. No sign of them. It's almost 6 a.m., right? Yeah, almost 6 a.m. I think, literally, the flashlight, the only use of it for it is, like, to see the snowman. Like, what you really need to make sure you have a lot of is the blow dryer. Because that's what keeps you alive. I want to know when that guy... Oh my god, I have the hiccups. When that guy out there wakes up and starts coming after us, because that'll be fun. I, think, I don't know if he actually does or not. I mean, you'd assume so, right? Hey, we built him. Oh. Oh my gosh. Not you again, my guy. Get out of here. How can I tell you again? Do not come back, sir. Snowman. Okay, we're about to win. I think if it's anything like Boogeyman, I think it like turns daytime, and then like you you get up from bed uh, like the bed and stuff like that. So that means we didn't sleep the entire night. <laughs> All the way until 6 a.m. We just stood up on our bed. Imagine like how tired we'd be every day because I think we have like a week of this. We'd be dead by the end of the week. <laughs> we wouldn't be able to like stay awake. We have to take like some uh, some 
medicine or something. You stay up like in, uh, what was it? Um, oh, my gosh. Nightmare on Elm Street? Or wasn't there a movie? There was some other movie, too, where they had to, like, take medicine and, like, stay awake. Because if they fell asleep, they died. It was, like, another... I think it was uh, Cloverfield or something like that. It was some other movie where if they fell asleep, they just died or they got eaten or something like that. Besides Nightmare on, um, on Elm Street, of course. All right, we won. It's 6 a.m. Come on. Show me the daytime. Get me out of here. It's over. Oh, that's so cool. You can actually see the, the sun rising. And we're good. Uh-huh. Nice try, snowman. Nice try. I got the Lego... The Lego Santa right here to congratulate me on hitting 6 a.m. All right, get me out of this bed, dude. Get me out. There we go. Ooh. Look at him. Is that like a new snowman that's going to attack? I think so. Oh, boy. He looks like he's going to be scary. He looks like he has some sharp teeth and a big nose. That's horrifying. Oh, yeah. Here he comes. Oh, great. I mean, you got to think about, though, if they're like, if it's just a snowman attacking you, you just kind of like kick them and then they fall apart, you know? All right, what do we got here? I should look for things that make noises and try to put them in places that will alert me when the snowman is coming. Oh, where the snowman is coming from. I need to get back into bed when I'm finished. Okay, so bells, toys, uh, this right here. The alien? Come on, dude. Why can I never use the alien? I don't get it. The alien is just there. He is set up to be used, and I just can't use him for some reason. All right, it's got to be in here, right? No. Where's that? That looks like it makes noises, but I guess not. All right. This? Oh, in here, toys. Aha! I got the bells. If it would let me grab them. Aha! Okay, so I can put that there, I guess. And then the basketball, which fell through the bed. Let's see if it does it again. Yep. All right, that's fine. Uh, you know what? Just there it goes. All right, we're going to put that uh over here right there it looks like a good spot all right well guys i'm actually gonna end this first part here though so that was part one of uh frosty nights overall a very fun game man even all these years later it still looks and plays very well so if you guys want to see me play more of this game let me know leave a like on the video down below show this video a ton of support and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you guys so much for watching peace out